I don't mean to be dramatic. Actually, I do. Welcome back to another installment of the Culinary Hotline Bling! Drink, drink, drink! The energy is amazing! Yes, it is! Wow! Woo! Sorry, I hope, you, I hope you're feeling the energy as well. If not yet, morning. So, we are joined by one of our favourite chefs, Chef Clem, once again. And if you have any questions for Chef Clem on all things in the kitchen, he even does bathrooms sometimes, never the lounge, but the kitchen, yes. Call us right now on 21 Double one zero, triple five, two. Take down the number. We have a very, very important thing that's come up, and that is a question that from a Facebook comment that we got on the socials. Takudzwa Chirova says this. Good morning, Expressive Family. I'm planning a baby shower. So can Chef Clem give me some ideas on what to serve my guests and punches to make? Because I don't want to cook, man. There we go. Can you help? When she said I don't want to cook, I was like, what do you mean you... Oh, I get it. Yes. I get it. Yes. There's so much involved with the baby shower. You got like running around, pregnant people. You know, like just take it easy. Take and, it and easy. And you don't know, like you don't know who is not and who is. So you have to actually make sure that you cover all the bases. So rather make a drink taste amazing for everybody. Okay. Yes. Right? I'm super excited about this. Okay, one. what are you doing? Okay. okay. So let's start off with I don't want to cook for this event, but okay. I'm doing an event. Yeah. Cheese platters. Cheese platters are simple, isn't it? So simple. Who doesn't like cheese? Uh, Asking the audience. Uh, this, everybody There's one loves vegan. Please leave what? the room. But oh, I've, had room. I've had vegan cheese. Vegan it's cheese delicious. Exists. And you can get dairy-free cheese yes. at Woolies. So bowl the cheese board. Yeah, exactly. Everything's done for you. Also, so if you don't like cheese, then clearly you've never taken a photo. Say what? Say what? Cheese. Right. Right. Just say, saying. Say lettuce. No. Yeah. No. Exactly. Doesn't work. No. All okay. Right. So I'm going to give you this knife. We're going to go with our hard cheese. We're going to go with a mature gouda. So, oh, sorry. Coda. A mature gouda. Coda. You have to be okay. more mature in this and one. And we you. know about this one. This is the award winning gouda. It's, it does, is this the one that's got an extra bit of nuttiness and depth of flavor? Yes. Wonderful. Absolutely. Fantastic. The aromatic notes just permeate your palate. I love and how. You just sense them oh. in your. Olfactory system. It, it is absolutely beautiful. The it way is you beautiful. Just juxtapose those two emotions in one moment. It's fantastic. It is. Wow. Okay. All right. Yes. Then we're going to go with our Ashton, Royal Ashton, which is a, you can feel it's not that hard, right? It's, it's got a bit of a give. So ah, I've got a hard cheese, okay. semi hard, and a soft, which is our cranberry. Bear. Cranberry. Bear. It's a new one. So, it's a new one. Uh, no, no, you know why? He called it cranberry because you obviously cram it in your mouth so fast because it's delicious. Oh, like cranberry. I so got it. Yes. Camembert bay with the raspberry and That's time it. done. So don't make another thing. It's here. Okay, exactly. Let's go. You say there's time involved there. You looked at, don't waste time, use time. Use time. In, 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 okay. Come on. There's your knife for the choda. You can Th pop open you. your cheese along. Can I just do that? And don't the slice choda. the cheese. Don't I don't, I don't like, I don't, only do the, 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 the packaging. That's what I do here. So this is what we do. The packaging and we've got it open here. This is gorgeous, beautiful. Oh my word. Do you know what? What? This is mature choda. I actually heard this, this gouda, it has like a bond to pay. It's adulting already. Wow, how mature. Responsibilities. It's fantastic. I really enjoy it. It is. It's really good. Okay, next thing. We'll use onion marmalade. I do I need to say more? No, well, I mean, I don't think you can because marmalade has just got that whole thing. It's got that beautiful thing. Also, if you missed out on our list of cheese, do not worry. Chef Clem and I have been up all night making sure you know our list of cheese on this beautiful platter. And this is good. Do you want to just plonk this over there? I just want to make sure that it's yeah. decorative. You can take the rind off, but not that's, now. And that's also, it. Okay, great. the thing is, take your cheese out the fridge or you can prep your platter before the time. Just take it out the fridge about an hour before you serve it. All right. Let the cheese come to room temperature. And this is no cook, by the way. No uh, cook! Takutsuwa, you're not cooking here at all. What is cooking is your guest thinking, oh my word. Cool, How did she do this? Take, okay. I've, got, I've got to fast forward because I've got to fast forward. The next platter. Some, the next else. platter. Yeah. Dessert. Yes. You've got to serve desserts. Don't make it. Buy it. Go to Winnie's. There's a selection of desserts. Oh my goodness. The new gattos that are out now. Oh, oh my. the gattos. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Thank okay. you. Okay. So, but we're going to keep it nice and simple. Finger foods. Okay. Mini Cook sure Sisters. Cook Sisters. There's a bit of origami on the. Oh, swan. The creme and beer. The creme. <clears throat> now, now I do want to say. Just okay. saying. There Some Cook go. Sisters. Oh, there's a creme and beer there. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Can you cook open up there? A little kisses. Oh, look at I mean, that. Open so up cute. the kisses. She was so early. Not even the 14th of February. But I can do a kiss. Oh, yes, I can. Okay, so by the way, for our cheese platter, we're obviously going to serve it with the Ooh. legendary sun dried tomato, cream cheese, pesto. Dip. So with the kisses, you know, and what I like is doing the crushing thing. Oh, I thought you were going to say, can I give... No. Oh, okay. I was oh, going to crush it. Oh, you want to crush it? I was going to do like a crush over oh. it, and but it's fine. It's okay. 
I got you covered. I thought you were going to say, got to serve a kiss, got to give a kiss, and I was like, no! I was thinking about it, okay. too. I, yes. Yeah, I didn't want to say it out loud, but since you're there, I mean, later, if you're you thought it. it. Okay. okay. Crushing, uh, crushing, the, crushing the kisses. Yes. Absolutely amazing. Don't you think, just to kind of give it a bit yes. of a... Chefy vibe. Can we, can we do it? One. It's just one, just a little absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Just so, a one, only one to, to, for the crush. Brownies go on. Okay. And the sort of cupcakes, and the garnish can be your crush. Oh, here we go. I'm ready for this. And also, once you're ready, we have somebody who is on Zoom waiting to chat to you, Chef. Okay. Uh, who's got another quick question. So is she, is she ready? By. Yeah, you're definitely ready. I can mouth See, my phone off. is ringing. Yes! <laughs> it's been a while. Culinary Hotline, Bing, call speaking. How can I help you? Good morning. How are you? Oh, I'm great. Let me put you on speaker. Hi, what's your name? Hi everyone, hi Expresso family. I'm so excited to be here. I am Katiawo, all the way from Soweto. Hey! hey! What's up? Okay, oh. welcome. So what's your question for Chef Clem as I garnish this beautiful plate? What's your question? Okay. Okay, perfect. So. What I'd like to have is, I'd like to specialize the best lemonade, having a little bit of South African twist in it, please. South African? South African. Twist. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay. South African one got yes. me there. Okay, so I do, I do yeah. have a, I do have a South African lemonade that works really well. I'm gonna tell you what it is, but I'm also gonna make you something else. Is that okay? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so here's my South African one that I absolutely love. You All can right. get on the fly. What's more South African than ginger beer? Yes, man. Ginger beer yes, please. is just such a... And don't play. Your ginger beer, it must, it must, it must slap you a little bit. Like, <clears throat> okay? It's, it's got to have that, that vibe right. to it. You're right. So here's what I'm going to say. So what you do is you start off with... You got some water and sugar. I put this on the stove and I dissolve the sugar in the water. Okay. And then I pop it into the fridge. Just to kind of like chill. You want to chill it down, you can fast, like you speed up the process by adding a bit of ice to it. Okay. Then, if you can, when, when citrus fruit's in season, oh. squeeze those lemons yourself. The juice squeeze. is amazing. Okay, we got some freshly squeezed lemon juice. You know Kelly? Kelly did this. Oh, Kelly's amazing. Kelly, 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 Kelly just kind of squeeze. Because someone actually. actually asked me in Woolwich, you and G talk about Kelly all the time, but no, we've but, never it, seen but Kelly. But Kelly's just, she's one of those. So she, she doesn't talk. Because she doesn't have a mic on. I know, but I know. Come in, come, 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 come in, Kelly. Kelly. I just want to say, Kelly, thank you for squeezing these lemons. Say, say hello to the people. <laughs> ah! Yes, and you, you thought I was joking. It's the... Yo. But then again, what do you expect? You got a sour reception, she squeezed lemons. Think about wow. it. Wow! Just say. Okay, there we okay. Go. So, thank you, Kelly, for the lemon juice. The lemon juice goes in, and yes. that's your primary flavor. Yeah. Then what you do, is, if, if you can't get homemade, get that homemade ginger beer, the one that really just packs a punch, and you add that to it. That's a South African twist, okay? Ooh. So, when I heard that you wanted lemonade, I thought, let me make something different for you. Okay. Something a little different. Pink lemonade. Yes. Pink lemonade. Pink is lemonade like, sounds good to me. Okay, where does the color come from? They use food dyes, they use all these weird things, oh, grenadine. No, none of those. No, cranberry juice. So, cranberry juice goes in with your lemonade, and you can add as much as you Ooh. want to get that pink color. Use something to stir. If you don't, just use a knife. Okay, this is great. Okay, there's your pink lemonade. Carl, you're gonna just taste in the pink lemonade. I'm gonna taste All that, because I smelt it already prior. And I'm gonna do this for you, because you asked the question, and I wanna make sure that you know that you are about to enjoy it. Is she still there? Yes, here we go. Okay, so, tell me what you think about that ginger beer one for South African lemonade, and tell oh, me what you think yes, about the pink mate. lemonade. Pink lemonade. It's talking to, you know what, I'm so inspired from this, I'm actually gonna finish this plate. Yes, yes. Yes! Do we still have time? Do She's we still have enough. time? Yeah, we do, but unfortunately, uh, the daughter. I'm gonna go buy a daughter uh, now. It's gonna come through, no problem. Okay, how much time do we have? Can I, can I do one more punch for our baby shower? One more punch, quickly, okay, quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, so, <laughs> this, have you ever tasted this? This is the king of Anmark. Uh, oh my Anmark. goodness. This, this stuff is amazing, okay? It's a cordial, so you add a little bit to your jug. That's this stuff it. is... Ooh, my word. Is this why people say you are cordially invited? You are cordially invited. Because you are going to get something with cordial in it. That makes sense. Okay, right. so it's a baby shower. So we've got abstinence. Abstinence is the trainer 2021. Okay, abstinence. No alcohol in there, okay? Oh, well, you know what they say, hey? Doesn't matter. Abstinence makes the heart grow fonder. Wow. Wow, wow. Doesn't matter what level of lockdown you're in, abstinence works. Okay, abstinence goes in. That's then, right. A little bit of lemon juice. 
We're doing this. We're doing this. Yes, I love Soda it. Soda water. Chef. Come on that's out. That's it. That's your punch. Oh, this guy. You, you gotta. Okay. By the way, look here. Yes. You can slow down. Can I? I just. I actually like watching you rush. I won't lie to you. I, I shouldn't have said that. There's not a lot of time left over. You can slow it down. Thank I'm, you. I'm sorry. Okay. But so you, don't you think he just he works better when under he's pressure. Rush thing. Type under of thing. pressure. He's like designed for cooking competitions. Anyway, let's okay. go. Let's recap. Okay, so we did. All right, I'll this, give you about okay. another minute. I kid chef, you so not. Go. I'm gonna yep. go back to this again. I kid you not. This mixed berry cordial is next level. I'm telling you, this mm. stuff is amazing in cocktails with or without alcohol, just like a drink with ice and water. You're gonna say, ah, oh, I can exaggerate about. Try it. Try it. Okay, cool. Let's wow. Go back to the, let's go back to the abstinence. It's got all the flavors of a good Cape Spirit. Yes. But there's no alcohol in it. So you're gonna get the aromatics of it. Okay. Minus the hair. So do you, are you getting a bit of juniper coming through and that sort smell of thing? You okay. tell me. I'll smell it. It's say, beautiful. Oh, it's my amazing. Word. You may see. Because okay. I'm thinking about the baby shower. If, oh, like, yes, please. It's beautiful, right? Exactly. You can even use it as a. What? I, I, okay. Yo. You all of a sudden just look. Nice. Nice. So now finish it off for us, okay. please, chef. Lemon juice, just to like bring that acidity through. Okay. Sparkling water. Oh, that's that's perfect because it gives it that brightness. Now you've got that beautiful flavor in there. Touch of juniper coming through, fooling people if they think there's dop in there. But there's there not. isn't. I'm sorry. There isn't. So here's the thing: don't add ice to the jug because it's going to dilute the drink when it starts melting. So serve your glasses with a little slice of lemon in there. Also, my daughter went through to our guest a little Did earlier, who's one, yes, indeed. Okay. So I want to say thank you so much for your question. We really appreciate you. I'm um, sorry we lost you there in the middle, but it's good to have you back. Thank you for asking your question. I hope that helped. Thank you so much. And then another question is, what's the best meal that you go with the lemonade? The best meal? Mm -hmm. Well, the thing about lemonade, right? It's kind of a, like, we drink it when it's hot outside. When, the, when we need them to cool us down, and so we drink the lemonade. Yeah, yeah. Essentially, get outside, bry. Yeah. Just bry. Just bry. Wow. And have your lemonade. Good for the kids, good for the adults. When do, you, do you think she can? Yes. A, Let's do, do the taste, eh? Taste. Pretend, see. pretend to taste. Pretend, pretend to taste. Pretend to taste. Go for it. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was the whole glass. Anyway, Chef Clem. Let me just let you know that your oh, culinary yeah. conundrums have been answered clearly and awkward moments on Zoom are part of our new normal, <laughs> like that. So, uh, if you would like to get any air fryer recipes, uh, all in all, it's been actually a fantastic day and uh, you can get everything on expressoshow.com if you want to, but uh, now it is time to make one lucky viewer's Wednesday the best day ever. Take a look. <laughs>